So let's start off by creating a new drawing here. I'm going to just select the standard Civil 3D template that comes with the install. Now in our drawing, let's go ahead and draft up some basic 2D lines and circles to represent the various parts to our custom 12 inch by 8 inch reducing flanged Y pressure part we're going to create. That being said, let's draw a couple lines here that represent our run and our branch. Our run will be 30 inches long and our branch will be 24 and a half inches long. We'll rotate our branch 45 degrees and then place it along our run five and a half inches in from this end. We now have two lines that represent our center line of our Y fitting. Next, we'll just go ahead and copy these lines over and we'll use these to create the 3D model in a bit. Going back to the original lines we drew, we'll need to now convert it to a block to have it properly display as a single line fitting in our design later on. So if we type block down here at the command prompt, our block creation dialog box pops up where we can define the name, insertion point, and objects we want to include in our block definition. Let's go ahead and name this block 12 by 8 underscore Y. For the insertion point, we'll select the intersection of the main and branch pieces. Then we'll go ahead and select our two lines here, as this is all we want to include in our block definition. And then we'll click OK. Moving on to the lines we copied earlier, we'll create three new lines that will represent the flanged thickness of our part. In this case, we'll go ahead and create two lines at 0.75 inches for the 12 inch main line and then we'll create one line at 0.6 inches which is the thickness for the 8 inch branch. Moving on we'll go ahead and create our circles to represent the body of our part. For our 12 inch main we'll create a circle at 12 inches diameter and then offset at 0.75 inches to represent the thickness of the pipe. Right next to that, we'll create a circle at 8 inches diameter and then offset that one 0.6 inches. Then we'll create three more circles to represent our flanges at the end of our part. For the 12 inch main, we'll need to create two circles at 19 inches diameter. And then for the branch, we'll create one at 13 and a half inches diameter. Before moving any further, you're going to want to save this drawing first as a DWG into your custom catalog. Anytime you have a need to create custom parts, I would strongly recommend that you save it as a separate catalog and not in your standard out of the box pressure parts catalog that comes with Civil 3D. As you can see, I've already created an additional parts catalog that I'll be saving these two here. Now that we have it saved, we're going to pull up our AutoCAD 3D modeling tools and use the sweep command to create cylinders along our line work. I find it a little easier to visualize the parts from a perspective 3D view. So I'll go ahead and click on the perspective view on my view cube. Then let's go ahead and move the flanged pieces onto the body of the Y. And use the subtract command in this exercise and connect all the parts. Again, I'm more of a visual kind of guy, so I'm going to switch my view style from 2D wireframe to realistic. And then we'll move our lines here into the center of the part and use that to represent the center line if we need to show our pipes as a single line in our designs. If you rotate this view now using the 3D orbit, 
you could see a little clearer how everything is lined up. It's basically just a good self-check. Next, we're going to insert a connection point for the part which defines where the part will actually connect to your pipes along with the direction. In this case, we have three connection points, so all will need to be defined. As you define these connection points, you'll notice a 3D arrow appear indicating which connection points have already been defined. Make sure you save your current state at this point. And then we'll move on to the next step of publishing your part. So we'll type in publish part content at the command prompt. Then we'll just follow our command prompt steps at the bottom of the screen to accurately define our new part. We'll save the .content file to our custom catalog. It's important to note that the content file and the DWG file of your custom part are located in the same subfolder. So that's that. We now have an accurate 3D model of our custom pressure part we'd like to incorporate into our design.